IHME models different scenarios for its COVID-19 projections. This helps policymakers understand how different policy decisions could affect the course of the pandemic in their location. The three scenarios are current projection, mandates easing, and universal masks. You can view the definition for each scenario by hovering over the I here. You can remove scenarios by clicking the X's and add them back using the drop-down menu. Now, we'll type North Carolina into the text box and select it from the drop-down list. Here, we're showing you what the three different scenarios look like for total debts in North Carolina through January 1st, 2021. The scenario that leads to the fewest debts is the universal mask scenario, which means that 95% of the population wears masks in public. Moving the cursor left to right opens a tooltip with details on our best estimate for total debts as well as our lowest and highest estimates, which we call the uncertainty range. You can see the uncertainty range in the graph by clicking on the chart settings icon and turning uncertainty to on. Total debts are higher in the current projection scenario, which assumes that mask use continues at current rates and social distancing mandates go back into place for six weeks if daily debts reach the level of eight per million people. To see daily debts per million people, scroll down to the daily debts graph, click on the chart settings icon, and turn data to per 100k. Use the cursor to move along the graph so the tooltip can be seen. This shows us that during the second week of November, daily debts in North Carolina are predicted to reach 0.8 per 100,000, equivalent to 8 per million, which is the number we assume will trigger social distancing mandates being put back into place. Generally, there is a 17 to 21 day lag between infections and deaths seen here by the projected drop in daily deaths after about 17 days. Returning to the total deaths graph, fatalities from COVID-19 are highest in the mandates easing scenario, which assumes that social distancing mandates continue to be eased and are not reimposed. The three scenarios show that to save the largest number of lives in North Carolina, universal masks is the way to go. If 95% of people wore masks in public, it could save almost 5,000 lives by January 1st in North Carolina. We calculated this by subtracting the number of deaths in the universal mask scenario from those in the current projection scenario. We hope you'll revisit our COVID-19 forecast regularly to explore the different scenarios and ways to re-examine and compare them. And don't forget, masks work and save lives. So please, wear a mask whenever you're in public.